Tanya, and I'm a naturalist with East Bay Regional Park District. I'm here today at Ardenwood Historic Farm, where I'm lucky enough to work. Now you may have heard that farmers take care of plants and animals that give us food, but they take care of something else that's really, really important. It's something that you can help us take care of too, no matter where you are. It's also something that you can find at all the East Bay Regional Parks, as well as maybe at your school or even at home. This thing is something I love to play in. Dirt. Mmm, good healthy dirt smells so delicious, but it's also really important. It can help protect us from drought. It can help keep the Earth's climate healthy and cool. And it also grows all those wonderful crops that can feed our bellies. So today, we're going to find out how to tell if our soil is healthy. Now there are tons of tests you can run, but my favorite one is to look for the critters living inside. Underneath your feet, there are tons of little animals, an entire food web that lives in the soil. From tiny little critters that are microscopic to shiny beetles and juicy fat worms. And they all make really healthy dirt. So today, for our health test for this dirt, we are going to do a worm count. Now this worm count is something that you can do anywhere there's dirt to check how healthy it is. All you need is something to dig with. I'm going to use today a trowel. You can also use your hands. But you want to be able to dig about six inches down into the dirt. So I like the trowel because I can kind of measure what that is. Now I'm going to go and grab a chunk of dirt six inches deep from one of our vegetable beds right behind me and then we're gonna count worms sound good all right I went six inches down and came up with a nice chunk of dirt here so let's see what we can find I have to dig around oh if you look for things moving you see them faster and guess what I found right off the bat what is that guy can you see it oh He's squirming a little bit. Do you see that squirmy on my finger? That is a nice juicy worm. All right, and I said today we're gonna to be counting worms. So we have one worm. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back in my hole to keep him nice and safe while we continue counting. Goodbye, little worm. All right, let's see here. Anything else? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. All right, we've got worm number two is curled up in a nice little ball. I'm gonna put him back. So right now we've counted two worms in our dirt. Let's keep looking. Sometimes you can find little tiny worms. Sometimes they're big and fat and juicy. But every worm counts. So let's see if we can find any more. Ooh. Ooh, there's a teeny weeny little worm. I don't know if you can see it at the tip of my finger, but like I said, sometimes if you just look really closely, I saw him because he was moving around. So I saw some movement and this is a teeny weeny worm, but we count him. Worm number three, back into your hole. Okay, what else? <gasps> Ooh, look at that one. Worm number, what is it? We're on four, right? We found one, two, three, four worms. Well, this is a pretty good size one here. I'll go ahead and put him back. It looks like he's trying to dig down somewhere safe. We found four worms. Now really, if I kept looking in here, I would probably find more. And I might find some other neat critters. Now when I was digging, I even thought I saw a centipede, but I don't see it in here now. All right, so we're gonna say we found four worms in our dirt. Now here's the thing, people say that three worms in a six inch chunk of dirt is pretty good healthy soil. Five is the magic number. Five worms is like really, really good healthy soil. So what do you think? For, with four worms, are we pretty good? I think we're pretty good. But why is more worms healthier soil? Hmm. Well, did you know that worms like to eat organic stuff? Now, organic means like little scraps of rotting plants, maybe rotting fruit, 
yummy little chunky things in the dirt that are full of nutrients. So they eat this good stuff. And then, just like everything that eats, they poop it out. Now, worm poop or castings is really rich, good dirt. Basically, worm poop is healthy soil. So the more worms you have, the healthier soil. Now, if these worms like to eat little chunks of things like fruit, and let's say you're in your kitchen and you're chopping up your apple and there's a piece of apple core left, do you think it would make good worm food? I sure do. Now, if you've heard about composting, I mentioned earlier that you too can help keep our soil nice and healthy. So anywhere you are, if you see a green compost bin, somewhere to leave your food scraps and dirty paper, anything that's organic, then that can go back into the earth. The worms can eat it. They'll say, mm, thank you. And they'll poop out good, healthy soil. Good, healthy soil is good for us. We can grow nice, good plants to be able to eat. We can keep our climate healthy. We can save ourselves from droughts even with good, healthy soil. So I hope you'll help me out and help out Ardenwood Farm by composting. Thank you.